Inside the K-Wing locker room with head coach Nick Bootland. Nick, the K-Wings get a point tonight in an overtime battle, but a game that really didn't feel like it was four games and five nights. A lot of physical play early on, a lot of good goaltending on both sides, but a game that the K-Wings do fall a little short. You know what, the pace of play was uh, fantastic for both teams. So I thought it was a, a solid a sort of playoff field type of game um, with the atmosphere that they had here on a Sunday and, and the fact that um, they're playing so hot and, and, and their team's doing so well right now. So, um, you know, I felt we came in and um, we had our opportunities. You know, we, we kept pushing in the third period. We had the momentum in the third period. They were throwing lots of pucks away and we said, just keep forcing it, keep pressuring, and we're going to get our chance. Don't cheat to make it happen. And Bloom Shen's able to capitalize with a rocket of a shot over the shoulder, but you knew it was going to be a perfect shot. Um, that was going to have to beat these goaltenders tonight. And you go into overtime, we, and chance for chance. You know, we had three or four good chances ourselves. We could have put the game away. They had two or three before they end up capitalizing, and it's a perfect play. Saucer back door, off of backhand, off the post and in. I mean, it, it, it's a perfect goal that they score. Um, tough for Marty. Uh, he's not going to save that off the post and in like that on the back door. So, um, you know, it's unfortunate that we come up short here. Um, but a, a battle-tested team um, that we played and excited to play them more often. Talk about the, the Bloom goal because you go back a couple minutes before that, he gets tripped up and a guy that missed a lot of time goes to the bench, he looks like he's banged up. It seemed like the serve has a wake-up call. He comes up, he starts finishing checks, and no doubt the torque was there on that last shot, as you mentioned. Yeah, I mean, he responded. So, um, you know, he actually wasn't even up for that shift. He just decided to jump on the ice and go. Um, sometimes Bloomer has a tendency to not hear me, I guess. Um, Lane Shadow was supposed to be out there uh, with that line, and then he's like, oh, I wasn't up when he came back. I said, well, if you score, you can go when you want. And uh, obviously we're kidding about that. But uh, he went on, and Shadow both went on at the same time, and we probably had too many men out there for a little bit too long, and um, he's able to capitalize because Shadow recognizes it and comes off the ice. So um, he said with a smile on his face, he didn't realize he wasn't up, and um, I was just making sure he wasn't too shaken up, but uh, seems to be playing pretty well, considering he's been out for the last four weeks. Sam Vittori's trying to find his offensive touch, too. Now it's points and Five straight. Yeah, find our way to battle for us and compete for us. And uh, I, I know that uh, there's a lot of guys on this team that aren't uh, 100% right now with all the hockey that we're playing. And Sammy's one of those guys. And uh, find a way to contribute. And, uh, you know, it, it's good to see him on that pace. I think it's five in a row now with a point. Well, the road doesn't get easier for you guys. We go to Orlando on Thursday. They're 8-2 and two in the last 10. Florida leads the, the Eastern Eastern Division. So the road will be tough here to finish this five-game route. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't have any free passes uh, throughout this uh, schedule of ours and the teams that we're playing. Everybody's a battle every night. And it seems like when we find teams, they seem to be on rolls. You know, Indy Field's been one of the hottest teams in the ECHL. We play them. You know, we go into Orlando, then now they're eight and two. So now we're going into that building, and then obviously another huge test in Fort Myers with the type of team they are and the record they have this year. So it's exciting. We want to we want to play the best to see where we're at to to see what we have to do to be um, better and to see what we have to do to climb the ladder. Well, we'll talk to you Thursday night from Orlando. Thank you.